push back nice and clean. And then we're gonna take our famous skinny standing Ben and Mandro. Are you gonna go see the new Wonka movie? Because I know you and um your son likes to go to the movies. We love the movies, but um he's uh I don't know that he'll like the Wonka movie. He's more of like a you know Marvel Transformer. Because I remember you told me you guys went to go see the Whitney Houston one. Oh, I took my mom. Oh, you took your mom. And I took my mom. Max, you are about that tamale life. Yes. I do like a good tamale. But I'm not going to have any for Christmas. I like to have tamales for breakfast, actually. I think they're a great breakfast food. And actually, in Mexico City, they have tortas de tamal, which is basically a pambirote or a bolillo, depending on where you come from, or like almost like a small baguette. Yes. Like a small baguette that's less crunchy and more chewy. And then they cut it in half and they put a tamal in it. And that's your breakfast with the champurrado, which is Mexican hot chocolate that has a different flavor, doesn't it? Yeah, it has like a cinnamony, cinnamony kind of thick flavor. I think because they probably put flour in it or something, but I don't like it. I think it's gross. But I, some I, people I'm love not it. a fan. Marma says she's been waiting for her scoops. They're coming. They're, they're coming, coming. Girl. They're coming. They're making actually more scoops right now because they ran out this morning. So they're, they're actually in the middle of making more scoops and also fulfilling them. Johnny Depp Wonka was very scary. Yeah, he was scary, but he was a good actor. I actually like that one better than Gene Wilder. And if you know anything about Robert Dahl and his books, he actually hated children. I mean, that's why he like did all those things to them in the movie. Like they blew up and they like. <laughs> so actually, the, <laughs> the Willy Wonka from Robert um, from Johnny Depp's version is closer to the book than the original one because he was kind of like awkward and didn't like children. I think that's why I like that one more. Yeah, it does have flower. Champurrado does have like flower. And also Robert Dahl, like all his books have to deal with like children like being not liked, like Matilda and mm -hmm. the witches and yeah. Willy Wonka. So I'm, apparently in real life, Robert Dahl was not a very nice person. She's not make sense, lol. I hate, I don't hate kids, but not for me. I'll keep my fur babies. Yes, Marie B. But for me, my, my accountant keeps telling me I should have a child for tax purposes. So I was like, <laughs> if, I have, if I have a kid, I'm going to name it IRS or Uncle Sam. <laughs> I think that's my parents felt it. Not yet. Had a kid too for tax purposes too because her when she talks about her kid, it's like she's talking about a pet. I mean, she would always roll around with those little dogs everywhere. For real. But she had it through a surrogate and like, I don't think there's anything bad about, you know, uh, surrogacy and things like that. But I think she did it for the wrong. I think she did it to keep her figure more so than not wanting to actually carry the child. Tita is watching from Florida. Hi from Florida. Cause I tried watching her show and honestly, I think it's so boring. It's well, like watching paint dry. Paris Hilton has no personality. I her mom carries the show. I think she, uh, you know, she used to put on a good show for like viewers when she was younger, you know, but I don't really think that was her. I think she just did it to uh, be funny, be relevant, you know. And apparently she has a really good relationship with the people from NBC. Mm -hmm. That's why she has the show by herself. But honestly, I don't know how, like, I don't know anybody that watches it. Like now that I watch like The Simple Life, Nicole Richie was a funny one. She was real okay. coherent. Some funny Crazy things. things. Yeah. But it was always Nicole Richie instigating all the troublemaking. Yeah. Poor Nicole Richie. And in real life, she was crazy too. You know she's Mexican? Yeah. Her real last name is like Rodriguez or something. Because yes. she's adopted. Yeah, she was one of the uh, bandmates' uh, daughter or something. Really? Like that. Yeah. That's why Lionel um, adopted her. Adopted her. Um, she used to, yeah, she, one of the bandmates had her or something. Like that. And they couldn't take care of her or something? Good life. No, for reals. You can adopt me, Lionel Richie. We're gonna bake this for <laughs> 60 seconds. He can adopt me too. All of us at the same time. Come on, Lionel, don't be hating. I'll, I'll, I'll do some, I'll do some uh, shady stuff on the show, man. I'll, I'll do all of it. Twerk upside down by the cakes. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll Come start, on, Lionel. I'm gonna start doing uh, some uh, push-ups, so I'll be able to do that. What base goes with bubblegum gel? Press on gel. Press on gel in clear or pink, and they are both super universal colors. And today we're going to use DIY gel in clear to adhere the one, two, three, go nails. All right, we're at 5,000 likes. Well, come on, you guys. Keep them going. 15,000 more, and we'll do a giveaway at the end. I mean, we got here pretty quick. Let's keep going. Who wants to win a little knickknack, a little prize? Ooh, a little prize. I know you do. I always you watching? Everybody wants prize. I want a prize. Have you ever won anything like really big? No. No. What about at the casino? No. No? I think the most I've ever won at the casino was in Vegas. Mm -hmm. I won like maybe, <clears throat> I don't know, maybe like 250 bucks. That's pretty good. 
that's the most I've ever won, like ever. On how much? Like five dollars or something? I think like I don't remember, maybe like 30, 40 bucks, something like that. And um I think the most Layla I've... said she can't win, but she's tapping anyway. Ooh, did you win before Layla? Is that why? I think the or most Lala. 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 The most I've ever won at the casino was I think fifteen hundred. Oh, that's a lot. But it was in New Zealand. Dude, I've never I've never won more than like I said, like two hundred fifty bucks, three hundred bucks maybe at the most. And all the times I've gone to Vegas, which are not that many, I've never gambled actually in Vegas. Mm -hmm. But I do like roulette. I think roulette is fun. I'll win like like I like placing bets on like sporting events. Oh. I'm really good at that, you know. I think it just makes like watching it a little bit more exciting. Like the Super Bowl or the Kentucky Derby. I haven't won in a hot minute. I'm praying for a miracle win today. Come through. Um. Yeah. So no, I've never won anything big. Or like a trip or something like no, that. Never. 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 That's why I think when I win, I'm gonna win big, dude. Like I'm gonna win the lottery or something. For real, it's like a I billion dollars. Like Did you hear about the guy that won the lottery recently? That I think it's like a younger guy. Like he's already gone through like half of his oh fortune. God. You know what I would do if I won money? You know who's really good at taking care of their money? Who? Shaq. Really? Yes. If I won money, I would call Shaq and be like, hey man, tell me what you do and how you like... Preserve it. Yeah. Because automatically, the government will take 40% off that. Yeah, totally. And then if you get a lump sum, you're going to lose even more. Yes. So you got to be really careful with those lottery earnings. Like most people that win the lottery end up like bankrupt or yeah. something like that. Yeah. It's crazy. They have some really extreme like things. I don't know that I would tell anybody. Really? You'd be private about it? Yeah. If I could be like anonymous... Um, I would. Everybody and their grandma would be coming out of the woodworks being like, Oh, Miss Juicy, remember me? I'm your third cousin twice and, removed. And I got a hundred cousins, man. Like, <laughs> those fools would be coming. They'd be coming for me. Ash says, I love the shape and length of the nail. Isn't it beautiful? This is Black Label, one, two, three, go. Sculpted Almond Medium. This is one of the newer one, two, three, go shapes. Yesterday, we used the long on my mom. And there will be an XL version of this shape, too, that is currently in a development for the fantasy. But you guys can see the shape is so slimming, so sexy. It is just perfect. Not too long, not too short. And we're using DIY gel today in clear to apply. Oh, we're at 13,000 already. Really? Dang, bring these, it, everybody. These girls don't play, huh? Everybody's in it to win They're it like, today. They're like, tap, tap, tap. So do you guys have any resolutions for the new year? Let us know in the comments below. Miss Juicy and I were talking about maybe we should go to the gym, but then we thought about it and we're like, no, it's okay. Marie B said, my fingers hurt from tapping. She's like, we gotta get there. I want to travel more. This year, I wanted to travel every month, but I couldn't. So hopefully next year, God willing, I'm able to travel every month. There's a few places on my bucket list I want to visit. A friend of mine, he's in Egypt right now, and oh, I was like, must nice. be nice. Nady Sams wants to get better at nail art so bad. Just practice, my love. It always feels great to win something from it. A little, a little gift. Okay, let's bake these now for one minute inside the king lamp. There we go. So today is my first day putting my hand in the king lamp and I was like, oh, did you get a new lamp? This is like bigger. She is living for it. It's so roomy. It is so spacious and it cures the nails rock hard. It is. It is roomy in there. Marie V, number, resolution number one, stop giving AF about those who don't deserve it. Mm, that's true. That's a good one. Resolution number two, move to Korea. Wow. That's a... That's a that's a tough one. Not a tough one, but that's a big change. Mm -hmm. Do you speak Korean? Lady Sam's is, uh, uh, I just switched to a higher quality brush and gel. I'm getting there slowly, but sure. Are you using my brush? You better be using my brush. Get the brushes, girl. Get the brushes. We have lots of them. Are you going to make any more videos with nail career education again? Uh, I, I don't know. To know. I don't know. It's not really up to me. It's, we have to find something that we can film together, Susie and I. But we still talk every once in a while. She's a good friend of mine. Joby wants to know how to get a lamp. Order it, girl. Yeah, enocouture.com, thebomb.com. My husband is from Korea. I'm still learning. Oh, awesome. It is a very fast-paced lifestyle, but it is a really cool city. And it's a very different culture, but I really like it. I've been there like maybe 30 times. I think if I was younger and I didn't venture into nails at such a young age, I would have loved to like maybe teach English in another country. Mm -hmm. I think that would have been really cool. But that was not in my cards. I love the videos you did with Susie. Oh, thank you. Yeah, Max has been in the nail game a long time. Yeah, like over 20 years. 
All so, the ebbs and flows. I think you've pretty much worked in every arena of the nail industry. Yeah, from being a nail tech, an educator, yeah. competitor, mm -hmm. um, salon owner, manufacturer. Mm -hmm. What haven't I done in the nail game? That's a better question. Yeah. But I think that God, this is going to sound really cheesy, but I think that the Lord gives us all a purpose in life for a reason, and mine is with the nail industry. To which we had a Max clone here in Central California. What? Sandra said you're a fantasy creator. I am. I think I am my own fantasy too. You are your own fantasy. <laughs> but that also is with a little bit of the uh, Peter Pan complex. Can you guys believe, like, how long did it take us to put these nails on? Like five minutes? Yes. Ash, you will find your purpose one day. You just gotta believe. Mm -hmm. But I think mine kind of fell in my lamp. Like a lap dance. I don't know. Because I grew up in the nail industry. Yeah, so, yeah. I grew up in the nail industry, even though my mom didn't want me to do nails. She wanted me to be a doctor. But I think all immigrants want their first generation children to be like doctors or lawyers. So that was like the only thing. But other than that, like, I, just, I can't imagine myself doing anything else. But I would, I think if I were to leave the nail industry, I'd love modern architecture. Mm -hmm. Like I love stadiums. I really like looking at stadiums, which oh. is really weird. So one of the things I like to do when I travel is to go to like different Olympic stadiums. Uh -huh. So I've seen a couple of them in person. I've seen like the Tokyo Dome. I've seen the Olympic Stadium in Mexico, mm -hmm. the Los Angeles Coliseum that was built in 1918 for the 1932 Olympics. I've seen Wembley Arena. I've seen the one in Vancouver. Oh yeah. Which other ones have I seen? I'm trying to remember. It's in my age, my memory. Oh, the Sauté de, Sa State de France in Paris, where the Olympics are going to be come next year. Did you win a big competition in Russia? Didn't you win? Uh, not in Russia, no. I judged in Russia. And I went to school there. That's where I learned to do nails. Many, many moons ago, at one of the best academies in Russia, called the Dom de Manicure de Lena Shanska. Have you seen the Colosseum in Rome? No, I have not. I've never been to Italy. I was supposed to go uh, next year in January, but I did not make the final five, well, the one chosen to go. So Gucci had five people to choose from to take for their fashion show in January, which was the men's fashion show, and I did not qualify. So I didn't make it. But, said Abby. There will be another time. They're going to have another show in July, but I was like, I don't want to go to July in Italy. I don't want to go to Italy in July. It's probably hot and humid. It is hot. I've never been to Italy. Well, I've never been to Italy, but I've been to Europe, and it's all like kind of similar weather. In there. Yeah. We're gonna use the mixer bit just to refine everything. Oh yeah, we hit 20K. Already? Thank you, Marie V. Wow, these girls don't play. No, they want a prize. They're like, come through, Max. La la, yay, 20K. Woo We gotta make sure there's no product stuck to the skin. So that cuticle is blended for fill. That is amazing. Thank you, everybody. They never disappoint. Let's keep it going. Let's double it. I think it's <laughs> Yeah, And then what other stadiums do I think are really cool? The one in Dallas, they call it the Taj Mahal because from far away, it kind of does look like it. Yeah. The Dallas Cowboy one. Pink Army comes through. Yup, today they did. Never disappoint. The one you went to is also really cool. The one in Australia? No, no, no. The, um, the one you went in Phoenix. Oh, in the Glendale. Cardinal one? Oh, yeah. yeah, that's a pretty good one, too. I like the roof on closes. It's a really beautiful stadium. The arena is actually kind of ugly. I mean, the arenas, even though they, well, you know what? Have you got, have you gone since they remodeled it? I went <clears throat> October 8th or October 10th. That's what they, I went to the concert that my dad got lost the first time. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. They remodeled it quite a bit. And then they kind of like opened up the corners, you mm -hmm. know? Um, I don't know if they had them open when you went, but it looks, that looks, that's different. They have a different like bar in each corner. And then you can see like the show from those like areas while you're like- Waiting in line. Mm -hmm. Uh, Queen Brittany 30 loves your product, Max. Thank you, my love. Now I'm taking the diamond moon bit, you guys, and I'm just very gently buffing any dry, non-living tissue off so that we have a beautiful finish. And I'm using my machine right now at 7,000 RPM. Marie B is working from home. Watching Max is the highlight of my day. Oh, thank you. That's really sweet of you. I get my coffee and ignore the customer. <laughs> Girl, you gotta do your job. A little sippy sip. <laughs> She's like, let me put a little gin in this coffee. <laughs> you put some syrup in there like elf. And you're good to go. <laughs> it's like syrup and coffee. Is there a scene about spaghetti? Well, he that's all he he makes spaghetti and then he puts like candy and like syrup on spaghetti. Ew. That sounds like pregnant women food. Yeah, it's like it's like a diabetic uh, dreams come yeah. true. 
Look how beautiful this just buffs up that dry cuticle, you guys. Very gently. And she's been using her BBC so you can see that there's no abrasions, there's no skin being broken, there's no bleeding because the cuticle is moisturized and it's more flexible. So that really makes a huge difference is the maintenance of the cuticle area. Oh, you know what movie I did try to watch the other day that was like a Christmas movie, but I was like, I don't remember it being this boring. It was a nightmare before Christmas. You know what? I cannot get into it. I was like, I don't remember this being a musical. I remember the song from the beginning of the movie. Like, this is Halloween, Halloween. But then, like, Jack started singing, and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go to sleep now. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I can never get into that movie. Like, my my, my sister and all her family, you know, her kids, like, they, they are really into it. I just cannot get into it, man. That night before Navidad. Um, Ash says, one of my favorite movies is actually a Hello Fresh box like that. Hello what movie? What movie, Miss Ash? And do you know um, Tim Burton didn't direct it? Yes. Everybody thinks that he did, but apparently he didn't. And um, you, I think you did answer, Tiffany, about the RPMs you were using. Mm -hmm. It was seven. And then what bit? That is the diamond moon bit, my love. Queen Brittany 30, waiting to get my second scoop. Ooh, awesome. My first scoop. Thank you for waiting, love. Yes, Nightmare Before Christmas was her favorite movie. I have nine tattoos of the movie. Oh, she loves that movie. Girl, she is I'm a with fan. you. I love me some elf. Remove the dust. Literally, I think the design takes longer than the actual nails. Yeah. So no, like the nails are done. Like, just boom, boom, done. Push back that cuticle. I'm using my famous orange wood stick. Sissy says, hi, Matt. Hi, love. Thanks for joining us today. You staying out of trouble, Sissy? I was actually telling Mr. Roundface a story this morning about Christmas movies that I remember I was at the airport and this guy was hitting on this girl. She was really pretty. She was half black, half Cherokee. I remember this because she he asked her what she was, mm -hmm. and um, and you thought it was a Hallmark movie in the making? No, it was. She that's what she did. She was a, a stylist in Hallmark movies. Oh. <laughs> and I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know why it stuck with my memory. But he asked her, she was like, what do you do? And she was like, oh, I'm a stylist for movies. And he's like, have you like see, done anything I've seen? And she's like, I'm working on a movie right now called A Christmas Blessing. And uh, I looked it up, and it's actually a real movie. I have to watch it. One of those like ABC Lifetime kind of movies. But you were eavesdropping. Well, they was right in front of me. <laughs> Marie B says, I love the one, two, three, go process. Went to nail tech school and I love this much better than the acrylic. Oh, I no smell, so fast, so easy, and so durable. Nina wants to know how you disinfect your tools. Um, it depends on your state regulation. So I live in Arizona, so we wash them in warm soapy water with antimicrobial soap and then we soak them in a appropriate sanitizer, whether it be quads or barbicide, whatever is allowed by your state. So that question depends on where you live and your regulations. Uh, Luisel Marie Rosado Rosa says, Hola Mac, saludos desde Puerto Rico. Te sigo en par de redes sociales. Ah, un besote la Isla del Encanto. That's somewhere I have yet to be. Have you been Ooh, to the island of enchantment? You gotta go. That is definitely on my bucket list. The food, the people, the mm -hmm. fantasy. Max, what do you think about people sealing the cuticle on their gel with acetone? So, sealing is the wrong word for it because it really doesn't seal. What it does is it kind of just like cleanses the cuticle more, but you have to really scrub it down. You still have to file it and blend it down, but sealing is not, it's not really going to seal the cuticle. Do you know what I mean? It's just more like removing the dust. If you want a perfect cuticle, you still have to go in and file it and blend it down. And then you can use a little bit of acetone and what that will do is it will chemically etch the nail and kind of remove any scratches or anything like that. But sealing is uh, the wrong term. Um, Grinch, people love the Grinch movie. I haven't seen that either. Um, Angel Baby, love your work. Thank you. Um, I think this might be a friend of yours. It's just put um, at Max. I don't want to mispronounce their name. Mm -hmm. I don't know who that is. Um, Angel Baby, love your work. Thank you, love. Let's see, Marie V. Um, does the press-on gel base work with the DIY gel as well? Yes, press-on gel is the ultimate, the best choice for any kind of base for one, two, three, go nails. So right now I'm taking our famous black and white gel polish and we're gonna do a marble design on our little tiara palette. So Lemmy wants to know, what is your ethnicity? You are so beautiful. I am Disneyland. I'm a little <laughs> Pirates of the Caribbean. A little Cinderella, little Snow White, a little, what's the, the Mexican one? Coco. <laughs> um, Christmas with the Cranks. Um, my son took a picture with the Grinch. He took a picture with me? <laughs> <laughs> mm 
We added some color changing gel as well too. Don't forget Encanto. I haven't seen that one, but that's oh, Colombian, you, isn't it? You gotta watch it. It's is really it good? good? It's really good. It's really, really good. Some Peter, definitely Peter Pan, because I have Peter Pan complex. Any fun plans for New Year's Eve? So my mom's cousin is coming in from Mexico City, so I'm trying to figure out what to do. Do you have any good ideas, Miss Juicy? Do you want to go clubbing? Um, you know, they have this thing downtown where they do the taco drop. I've heard of that, <laughs> but it's going to be cold. It'll probably be a little cold, but the check will be fine. Have you been to the taco drop? I have not, but I but I have friends that go to the taco drop every year, and they really like it. Club Congress is going to have... um. Uh, well, you can see the taco drop from Club Congress, I think. I think, I think they put it in that same vicinity. It's, they're going to have a um, Marie Antoinette theme party. Do, so regular base gel versus your press on gel base what is the difference you just answered your own question my love press on gel is specifically for the one two three go and regular base gel is for uh, regular gel polish or you can use it also on the natural nail but it is not designed specifically for one two three go application so it's not going to have the same adhesion or flexibility as the ones that are specifically designed for the one two three go application they like your little um little um crown so pick off your and crown then little mixing plate there see. hit the nail angle the nail down we're gonna do two or three nails at a time so that way ash is obsessed with your stickers thank you you already know my love we have the best in the game can you use happy gel in the one two three go mix? yes and there are videos of me demoing uh, happy gel application with the one two three go clean the brush every time you're going to pick up paint so that way you get a beautiful more consistent marble and then we're going to take our liner brush and we're going to work around Sierra's nails is in the house here. Talking Hello, about love. the nails lasting four weeks. Amen to that. While friends who I practice on barely last over a week. They're pretty hard on their hands. And you also have to make sure you prep the nail really well and follow through. Especially if you're just starting out. Remember, practice is key. Oops. Being good at nails is not something that comes natural. It's a matter of repetition. The more you practice, the better you'll get at it especially when you're starting out and don't get discouraged that looks amazing as always it's not even done you haven't even seen the the final result the final sequence. result is super cool so now i'm going to take again my brush wipe i'm going to saturate it with pure acetone and we're going to run it against the edges sierra nails loves your energy i try and we also have a lot of caffeine in our system a lot. The we are tweaking tonight <laughs> you have any photos from some of your first sets from when you started out? Yeah, go on my IG and check it out. We have 12,000 pictures on IG, so... Or on Facebook, too. There's some old sets, too. Right now, I'm just freezing the gel so that way it doesn't disperse as we're applying it. We're going to work on the other ones. No, he's not even done yet. And then what's so cool is that every finger is different, too. Really? Should we put the other scoops back on sale? Why not? Jeez. What? Yes. Join me in my craziness. Come on, guys. We can hit 50K again. Ash is trying to get people to... We're already at almost 30K. If you get to 50, we'll do two giveaways. What do you Ooh, think, Ms. Juicy? All right. I'm down for that. Two giveaways. Two giveaways if we do 50. So this is from the pink liner brush set. And this is the short one, and I'm going in and I'm filling in any edges. And I'm making sure that the gel is all the way to the side, too. You are heart trendy, Max. Really? Yeah. It's because of you, Miss Juicy Baby. Well, me, but I am. I'm, I'm tapping, too. <laughs> she, she's participating. <laughs> I'm not only working, I'm participating too. She's doing double duty. So again, take some pure acetone, run it along the side. This is to remove any excess. You have to make sure that this is saturated really, really well. We are at 34,000. Oh my gosh, already? Yeah. I think we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. And then freeze it. 
so that way he doesn't disperse. I mean, he's still working. He still has to do my thumb. I think we can do it. Now let's pick up the paint for the thumb. We can do it. Baby, we can do it. Take the time, do it. Speaking of Christmas, do you know that Mary J. Blige has a Christmas album? No, I don't know. Neither did I. I need to play it. Did you see that Cher has a Christmas album? I've heard, heard of it. Yeah. I heard it already, some of it. I was surprised. I was like, okay, Cher, I see you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a friend of mine at work introduced it to me, and I was like, what? It's not too bad. It's like a very, like, a dancey kind of Christmas yeah. album. I don't like her um, versions of ABBA songs, though. I don't think her voice is cut out for ABBA. Let's bake that now for one minute. All right. Any plans? I'm going back to Disneyland soon. Uh, January, I would like to visit Disney World. Disneyland, I always do on my birthday because that it's my mom's birthday and I are one day apart. So I'm the 4th of June. She's the 5th. Mm -hmm. So she doesn't like when I spend my birthday away. I've only done that once in my entire life, actually. I went to Korea once on my birthday and she did not like that. Uh, and now that I'm getting older, I don't want her to die. Faye360MM says uh, they need those brushes. Aren't they everything? So we use the pink crystal liner gel brush set, and this one is called the pink toolbox brush set. So I, I kind of always spend my birthday with my mom because we're, we're one day apart, but she doesn't go to the park with me. She hates <laughs> Disneyland. She did go to Disney World with me once, but uh, she's like, do you like going to Disneyland that much? She's like, don't you get bored? I'm like, no, it's my really? escape from reality. We're at 40,000. I think we're gonna do the 50. Come on, you guys. Tap, I tap, tap. I think we can do it. I think we can do it. I have a feeling I have an itch. I think we're gonna do it. Your heart trending again. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay, so these are done bacon. We're gonna go in with a thin coat. I love how different this one looks from the other hand, too. Oh, yeah. We'll right. show the differences right now. We're gonna go in with just a really thin coat of base, and we're gonna add some sequins to the phalanges. I love how clean your cuticles look now. I've been using that uh, thing. See, you guys, the BBC is the ultimate thing for cuticle care. I've been using it every day. I was telling Max that um, when I'm at a stoplight in traffic, just I put it on really quick. So the sequence is going this way, so this one has to go in the opposite direction. I love Disneyland. Went two times in about two months, and I'm going again next November. I That's a ride or die. That's B. So this year I went three times. I went to Disney World in January. In June, I went to... Euro Disney in Paris, and then... No, that was in September. In June, I went to Disneyland. So yes, three times. I didn't go to the, any of the Asian parks. Hong Kong Disneyland and Shanghai Disneyland. Gosh, I sound like a, like a tour guide, huh? Yeah. I opened up uh, new areas. So I would like to visit that, but not when there's like 100 billion people in line. No, I, I the last time I went to Disneyland, it was a little bonkers. Ash says, uh, on, on, guys, we got this. We're at 45. I think we're going to do it. Uh, Taryn Alameda, I got the BBC in my Oh, awesome. Um, is it like cuticle oil? Uh, it's a cuticle treatment, so it's a cream. It's richer and it's more, uh, it sits on the skin versus being like oily. So you leave it on and then it absorbs into the skin. You can rub it in. So it is kind of like oil, but it's a little bit more intense. I think they added the frozen world at one. It looks amazing. Yes, at Hong Kong and Shanghai has Zootopia. But, so they spent all this money, like I think $2 billion to build the uh, Hong Kong Frozen World. Mm -hmm. And the roller coaster that they built for it lasts like 31 seconds. Oh, wow. That, I mean, you probably wait more in line than the actual ride. I'm sure. So I was like, do I really want to fly- 30 seconds. 31. I was like, do I really want to fly halfway across the world for a 31 second roller coaster? I just made another purchase. Your products are my guilty pleasure. But girl math, I save doing my own. Yep. Burr. And then Tokyo Disneyland is going to get a big expansion next year, mm -hmm. but it, it's not expanding till June. And if you guys have ever been to Japan in the summer, it is brutal. It is so hot and humid. Like I remember going outside and you can see the clouds of humidity. And I'd never seen people walk around with towels to wipe their face down. It is so humid in Japan. Oh, it's the worst. Tessa Nasani, my scoops come in this week. Can't wait. Awesome. I hope you love everything you get. 
Casey Johnson, uh, 452. I used to watch you on Facebook. First time seeing you on here. Your nails are awesome. Thank you, my love. I appreciate that. The summers are worse in the AZs, LOL. No, because it's dry. You don't sweat. Marie V, are you from the AZ? Ooh, you said that correctly for the first try. I'm trying. I'm trying. Would you rather be hot and dry or hot and humid? Hot and dry. For real, is that way your tonies don't get musty? Humidity. Where do you live, Marie V? Are you from the 5202? Do you play on the south side? Yeah. Barrio Hollywood. Tell us your spots. Peoria. Pretty close. Just up north. About two hours. Just up north from us. Yeah, I'd rather be in the hot dry. It's bad humid here in Georgia in the summer. Oh, I can imagine. I've never been to a Atlanta in the summer, but they don't call it Atlanta for nothing. No, I mean, it's probably like, you know, like that whole area, right? Like Florida, like the South, like it gets really hot. Alabama, Arkansas. Ooh, hot and humid. Need a mint julep. I'll bet you that's why it tastes so refreshing, you know? Because everything else is moist. Go ahead and put that in. And then like a drywall, you have to replace it. Like luckily here, we don't really have those kinds of issues. Like the marbling on the thumb is snatched. The Beyonce of the hand. <laughs> the hand of Beyonce. Nails by A Gemini. Got my scoops. Love the products. My fourth order in two weeks. Girl, awesome. They keep working on those orders. Oh, we hit 50. Woo! We hit 50. Woo! That means two giveaways at the end of the video. Two giveaways. We're going to do, we're going to, oh, we're at 51. 51 already? You guys, yes. you guys never disappoint. Oh, and then they just opened up two new hotel, hotels, hotels <laughs> in Vegas. Oh yeah. <laughs> One's called the Durango, and the other, that sounds is like a it, car, doesn't it? it? A, a Mexican car? themed. I think it's themed like after, like, agave plants almost. Ooh, these they're the, they're a little bit different, but they look the same. The same but different. So now we're gonna go in with a thin coat of shiny. We're gonna do two coats of gel top coat. The first one is gonna be shiny, nice and thin, because she does have sequins on here, so we don't want that sequins to go anywhere. And then the fountain blue. That's the big bougie one on the strip. Fountain blue. The fountain blue. And then they have the sphere. Have you been to the sphere yet? I've seen it. I have not been to it. Do you like you too? No. So that's why I haven't made an effort to go. <laughs> I mean, they're okay, but, but not to pay know, like a thousand dollars to go see you two. Yeah. A nice thin coat over the entire surface, you guys, because we're gonna do two coats of gel. I love how like the cuticle is so snatched and the gel is all the way to the back. Dangerous, it's giving dangerous mermaid vibes. The nails? I think it looks like glittery marble. Like a slab of the painted desert. Petrified forest. And make sure you get all those edges, all those little nooks and crannies for the fantasy of. Those nails are dreamy. Okay, we're gonna bake this now 30 seconds. Did you have your McRib yet? No, I'm not a McRib person. I read on the internet that the McRib is the illegitimate father of hamburgers because it only comes around once a year during the holidays. <laughs> <laughs> like it went to get milk and then it decided to come back? Only around Christmas. Stunning nails. Thank you, Queen Brittany. Now that I think about it, it's actually kind of gross because it looks like it has bones, but it doesn't. You know, my my brother-in-law loves this McRib and the key is all about it, right? And I'm just like, what is the deal with that? It's probably made out of like pigeon meat and pig ears. I don't know what it's made out of. But Chicken feet. I'm not going to ask. I ain't going to eat it. <laughs> but does it bring back the milk? Um, I don't think so. I don't know. It brings back something. Barbecue sauce. Something. A nice rich coat. Justin of Timberlake over. performed at the Fountain Blue, got paid six million, stayed at the win afterwards. When did Justin Timberlake perform? I love me some JT. Oh my gosh, so I have to ask you, what do you think about the Britney book? Ooh. Did you read it? I did not read it. I heard all about it. I've seen on all the things on TikTok and stuff. Um, it brings on an upset stomach. Yes, it does, Miss Ash. Um There's three sides to every story. Of course. Um I I I, I do feel bad. I mean, if it's all true. I do feel really bad for Brittany, right? I do feel bad for Brittany, and I don't think she's well in a lot of different ways. And I think that people should like really- Bring back lobotomies. Look after her, right? I think they should really look after her because she ain't well, you know? Um, and I also like feel like, I mean, I don't know. 
know. I don't think that either one of them would have had the career that they had, right? But I mean, who's to say? I don't know. I, I think I think it's 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 a crappy situation all around for everybody. And also, like, it doesn't seem like they were very like monogamous, because apparently she right. cheated on him. Right. He cheated on her. Yeah. So like, I think also she should have been more responsible with her body in that respect too. Well, and she was young. They were young, you know. But I mean, we Nancy's also live. Nancy's laughing at Lobotomy. <laughs> We also live in a time that if you don't want to get pregnant, it's really easy not to. Yeah. So, I, that's my two cents. I feel bad for everybody else. And they were young. And How young. old were they? They were like late teens, early 20s. Really? I believe. Yeah, like that was when they were like taking off. Because you know? if you're going to do the nasty, be responsible about it. Because you don't want to catch anything. People are talking about their supper now. They don't want to hear about us. About Britney Spears. Cool, they're, cool, like, cool, cool, cool. they're talking about making chicken strips for dinner. They're laughing at the lobotomy. Um, Tessa Nassani is having some jerk chicken and cucumber slices. That sounds good. Mm -hmm. Sounds Lisa, really light. Lisa L says, Hi, Max Love. Hi, my love. Ash had Subway. Ooh. We're going to bake these now for one minute inside the King Lamp. I feel bad for her too, but I also feel like she had a lot of bad people around her too. Yeah, totally. She had a lot of bad Too people. many yes people. Yeah. She got carried away with the lifestyle. Bad. Yeah. Poor Brit Brit. Do you remember she always used to come out with her assistant too, Felicia? She always like have people around her. Any tips for chrome powder application? Use shiny gel and cure shiny gel for about 15 seconds, no more than 30, and your chrome will apply like magic. Cindy Chris is gonna have some pasta with sausage. Ooh. That sounds good too. Everybody's some... making me hungry. I'm gonna go home and eat some tamales. That sounds yummy. How many do you eat? Last night I ate two. Oh, that's not too bad. Yeah. Do you fry them in a little bit of butter to make them crispy? Um, I do Christmas morning, mm, and then good. I put like an egg on top. Oh, that sounds so good. With the yolk and then cut the yolk in the middle? Yeah. Delicious. Yeah. Um, it says, what is Shop? Is it a fulfillment site you use to track orders? No, Shop is an app, but honestly, I'm not sure what it is. Because we fulfill our orders in-house. It's like, I always feel weird about downloading apps. I actually don't use Shop. Because we don't fulfill, we don't use Shop to ship. We use ShipEasy, so once your order does ship, you'll get an email letting you know, but until then, you don't really, I, I don't think you really need it, to be honest with you. So you guys know, after the hand comes out of the lamp, we're going to wait 10 seconds to let the nails finish the polymerization process, and then we're going to hit it with cotton candy cuticle oil. Oh, you know where I went that I was really disappointed? Was Silver Saddle. What? I didn't great. like it. It was so bland, the steak. Ugh. They're really great. Every time I've been there, it's been great. Um, you can add oil. Can you add oil to the nails? Add oil to the nails. I don't to the skin. Finish. You don't want oil on the nails because that will cause lifting and we don't want these nails to go anywhere. Um, so we need nail length measure thing like a cute one instead of magnets. Can you invent one? Um, honestly, the best thing to measure nails is your eyeball. Because no fingers, no hands are going to be the same. All the nails should not be the same size. These two nails should be the same size. This one longer, and then these two shorter. So I don't, you have to eyeball it. We are having um, Korean pork barbecue tonight. Having chicken, corn, and mashed potatoes. Dang, everybody's making me hungry. Everybody's having really hearty meals too, huh? I thought you put oil on the nails. No, no, no. Gorgeous nails. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your I'm very proud of you, Mr. You made my day. You made my day. They're beautiful. Look at that sequence, how shiny it is. It's so like little diamonds. I put some diamonds, and I was like, no, 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 I'll leave it like that. I really want to go to Mini Dito, though. I want to have the president plate. But I don't want to wait an hour. This says, can only afford good food and email nail <laughs> That's all you need in this economy. <laughs> Let's compare both hands now. Look at that, you guys. So this one is a little bit darker. With some awesome transfers. So we have something called Maxi Magic Film Glue, which is like the best gel for foil transfers. Cure it anywhere between 15 to 30 seconds, and then your foils are going to be snatched. Look at that, you guys. So like both hands are the same colors actually but they came out totally different but they complement and contrast each other too which i think is so dope it's like a story it is a story one's talking about the mcrib the other one's talking about britney every finger has a different story a lobotomy <laughs> 
Disney, Disney rides. Disney rides. I know way too much about that. Now Universal Studios is going to open up a new theme park in the UK too. But we got a few years before they do. Universal Studios was my favorite and it's not anymore. It's really boring. No, like after they built that whole Mario thing, it's like ridiculous. But there's only like three rides at Universal Studios. Don't even get me started. There's the Harry Potter one, the Jurassic Park, which I did not go on because I don't want to get wet because I don't want to rest up my hair. And then what else is there? The roller coaster. That roller coaster is terrible. It's like 10 seconds. The Simpsons ride that they want to get rid of. I hope they don't. Yes. It does look like Mother of Pearl. We're going to open up a 